Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Conjurer. Uh, this is my con Conjurer character. It's actually different from my last one I sh created, because that save file went all wacky and didn't want to have to do a bunch of stuff again. I did make this a female High Elf character, because I just didn't really like my other character. Today, we'll, I'll be doing the um, Boethia's Calling Quest. So basically, a little bit of background. I think you have to be level 20 to get this quest, and I am level 36. I have Conjuration at 77, uh, Enchanting at 100, Heavy Armor at 70 because of my enchanted armor that fortifies heavy armor, Archery at 54, and I think that's about it. Speech is just naturally rising up, and Sneak 31. Um, so what's really gotten me up is the enchanting and the smithing, because I've really been focusing on them before I focused on my other stuff, but I am getting pretty high in conjuration. And so, uh, bas this is one of the Daedric quests. Basically, you'll, at around level 20, you should run into a, a random guy who's like servant of Boethia or something like that. Well, a Boethia cultist will attack you, and there will be a book about him that will tell you about this cult. <laughs> And, uh, basically, I'm supposed to come here and figure out what's going on. So, let's do that. And these people are... Do you wish to test yourself against me? We are Lord Boethius Faithful. Have you come to test your metal? Here, let me just, uh... Um, audio. I'm not... I can't hear it that well, but I'm not sure. I haven't really tweaked with it much, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Hopefully you'll still be able to hear me. You well-placed word or a well-placed dagger, both can achieve equal purposes. We are forged by Boethia's example. We carve our will upon the world through our tongues and our blades. You, you are nothing. An empty vapor, dispersed by the slightest breeze. I'm not afraid of you. Good. Perhaps I've misjudged. The Lord of Plots, Deceiver of Nations, Devourer of Trinomach, The Queen of Shadows, Goddess of Destruction, He who destroys, and she who erases. Many are our Lord's lofty names. But they befit only us mortals. Intone her mighty names from now until the end of time. It is for naught. Names mean nothing to our Lord. She only cares for those who care for themselves. Whose hearts are full of purpose. Whose lives are full of deeds. Mm, I'm full of purpose and I've got done a lot of deeds. If you desire a glimpse of our dark mistress... Then this is what you must do. First, prove your tongue can wield a lie. Find someone, gain his trust, lead him to the shrine above. Next, instruct your thrall to touch the pillar of sacrifice. Its magic will ensnare him, rendering him helpless. Then, girded with certitude, plant the ceremonial blade deeply so that the waters of his heart wash over you. If your will is strong enough, it will stir Boethia in her dark mansion, and she will appear before us. I'll do it. That remains to be seen, but if it is so, and if Boethia appears, then we will welcome you as one of us. Seems a like well old ghost is word gathering or a well placed dagger. Okay, so basically you have to bring a follower to this pillar, tell them to touch it, and then kill them. Now I'm figuring I'm thinking now I'm probably gonna get a lot of flack for this, but uh Oh. Just wait a little bit. Um, well I have Lydia well with me, but she hasn't been dagger. really doing her job. Both if you're wondering where her steel armor is, I need it for a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, so, so, let's see, I need, need you to do something. Just to warn you, 
you if you are gonna do this quest, you probably want to do it with someone you really don't care about, and I don't really care about L Lydia in this playthrough. All right, what is it? A well placed word. Oh, or a well placed word. I've got your back. I need you All to right. do something. What is it? And then you just what look you at the pillar. Okay, got it. Do you wish to test okay, yourself against me? Uh. Um, it okay, appears I might not be able to actually use her. A well-placed word, or a well-placed okay, dagger. Okay, got it. Still need me to do something? Yeah. I've got your back. All Let me right. try one what more time. It? What do you need? Do you wish to okay. Test okay. Against Apparently me? I cannot use Lydia for this, so I will go get another companion and continue the movie in a minute. Ah. Okay, I'm back. Uh, when I got Uthger, go beat her up in a fist fight, and now she a likes well me or something. Still here. Well I don't really like her, dagger. she's kind of Both really weird. But, uh, okay, need you to do something. What? What? We'll do. Okay, good. Do you wish to so apparently you can't use your house comms for this. Okay, so, yeah, she's sitting there. By the way, if you're wondering about my armor, um, it is a full set of ebony armor, uh, fully enchanted to help my conjuration, restoration, heavy armor, and archery. And so now I have to kill this person I just brought up here. So let's continue the quest. You have caught my attention, mortal. That is most unwise. Tell me, why have you slain this one who trusted you here upon my shrine? My reasons are my own. Indeed. But I abide only those whose will is aligned to my own. Those who oppose my desires perish in the most dreadful of ways. I'm not afraid of you. Is that so? You should be. Though a heart without fear is something I can use. Perhaps you are the one I seek. We shall soon find out. Listen, all of you! Hear me. I have need of a warrior. Only the most ruthless, cunning, and agile will do. You have gathered here night after night, sacrificing fools upon my shrine, and sparring aimlessly with yourselves. But which among you truly exceeds the rest? I'll just stay up here. Prove yourselves to me. I have a special task for whichever of you is left standing. So basically now it's a free for all. Did I just shoot? No, I thought I shot my drumming. Oh dear, that guy has light. I should probably quick save. Come back to my quick save. Yes. Who's the one who lied me? up here and was lazy. Well, maybe they weren't lazy. Maybe they're glitched. Oh, hello up there. Not your best. Huh? 
I can do this all day. Well done. You have proven the strength of your will and your tongue's gift for lies. You have shown ferocity and prowess in combat. Now the time has come for a final proving. Are you able to cast aside your honor and strike with the hidden blade? Honor? Uh, I'll do whatever you ask. I have little need for mindless thralls. <clears throat> My servants serve their own purposes. But if their will is insufficient, nor suitably aligned with mine, I simply destroy them. Which brings me to my present concern. My previous champion displeases me. It is time he is replaced, in the traditional fashion. Who is he? I am loath to utter his name. One cannot erase a thing if it has a name to be remembered. Where can I find him? You will find him holed up at Knife Point Ridge, where he plays king to bandits and highwaymen. Say no more. He's as good as dead. Kill every single member of his band. Do so as silently and invisibly as you can. For this is not about you. You are to be my instrument in this. Slay him in the coldest of blood. Do not give him the dignity of defending himself. Once his corpse lays cold upon the ground, and all trace of his followers erased, retrieve my ebony mail. A gift fit only for my true champion. May your will carve itself upon the world. Wow. <clears throat> Able to talk while being dead. Okay, so for this part, um, I this is why I needed Lydia's armor. And I actually downloaded a mod that allows you to put whatever armor you want on House Carls. Um... I took her armor and put on, I also, another mod I'm using allows you to put any enchantment on any piece of armor except for like weapon enchantments, but um, if you've done any enchanting you know that uh, some pieces of armor can't, like I don't think you could put sneak on like uh, boot or on help gauntlets or regular armor but th this mod pretty much puts you put whatever enchantments on whatever piece and I have the perk that allows me to put two enchantments on a piece of armor so I have this steel armor which I have let's see d did I hmm I don't think I actually upped it but my sneaking's at 30 and I'm hoping with the Bonus, I put a bonus on every piece of steel armor here to archery and sneak. So I'm hoping that'll be enough to allow me to do, get through this mission without getting seen. Now, okay, so that's quite a ways away. So what I'm going to do now is end, or I'm going to skip through the rest of just me running around and traveling. And then I'll start up the video at the next point of the quest. See you in a minute. And we are back. This is the part of the quest that I'm kind of sketchy on because I do have a bunch of sneak enchantments on my armor, but I also am wearing heavy armor and my sneak is only at level 30. So, yeah, I'm not sure how well this will wor really work out. Hopefully my, my bonus to archery uh, won't cause, will cause me to be able to take people out at long range. Come on, go sneaky. I'm gonna be doing a lot of quick saving. I can already tell. I wish I had the slow time thing. 
Mm, um, okay, that was one that was really weird. For any of you who didn't... Oh, yeah. For any of you who don't, didn't realize what that was... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. You don't see me. You don't see me. Actually, I think she sees me. Um, that was a ranged kill cam on a player that wasn't, or on a guy that wasn't even, it was a kill cam on a door, pretty much. Oh, crap, I did not mean to do that. Huh? You won't live to kill you. Um, I see. Well, I didn't fail the quest yet. Oh, that's interesting. Is there anyone up there? No. Maybe it just, maybe the stealth part is on the inside. It's been a long time since I've done this quest, and the last time I did it was on a high stealth character, so I had no issue with it at all. Don't need the sword. Quick save again. Oh. See that subtitle? I've had that, this issue before. It's like that shows up, like especially if you're quick saving a lot. Like for me, if I wanted to get my pickpocket up, that happens. Uh, if I'm oh crap, I don't like you. Obviously, I need to take him out first. Oh, okay, I'm going to. I'm with the bow, and then quick save. There we go. So there's a guy up there I didn't realize. And now he's dead. Okay, you run out there. Run out there. Good boy. Okay. Okay, stop. There, you stopped. Good boy. Oh, he's awake now. Oh, and he's a mage. He's a dead mage. Anyone else around here? Nope. Okay, let's go into the mine then. I think this is the part that you have to do it stealthily to get any bonus or whatever on the quest. Oh. No, I am a pretty high on archery, and, uh, ooh, I'll take that, and melt it down. I'm pretty high on archery, and, uh, I also have, let's see, <coughs> what are my rings? Okay, I have 40% there, 40, 80, 120, 160. Two, I'm pretty much doing, I have a pretty good archery skill level, go away destruction, um, 55, so whatever damage my, my summon bow and that does, plus 200%, so yeah, I'm, that's why I'm one-shotting most of these guys, especially with the sneak bonus, oh, wow, that second arrow, didn't, didn't need much damage, but still. Okay. Ooh, a little sneaky place. Oh, I see you over there. Now that's what a kill cam should be like. Okay, you, you come out here. You stop momentarily. Oh, that's what, whoa, wow. The arrow bounced off of him and still killed him? 
That's different. Oh, steel armor. Please kill him. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Someone there? Yep, someone's here, and you're dead. This is the one issue I don't like about leveling up my crafting skills first, and that's uh, running into the issue of the enemies being a much higher level than you and not having the combat level to take them out as easily if you would. But then, if you tried crafting after your combat, then it's a lot harder to get those skills up. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the guy, the servant of Boethia we have to kill. And he's dead. He was... So he's carrying... Uh, he's wearing... This is a nice quest for you looking, doing, doing heavy armor, because he's usually wearing ebony gauntlets, ebony boots, and of course an ebony shield, and the ebony mail that we're supposed to do for the quest. I would pick up that sword, but it's heavy. I already have a stamina enchantment. And, uh, yeah, I'm almost full. Um, so basically, you finish the quest by equipping that ebony mail, which is some pretty good, nice armor because you're able to move quietly, so it do doesn't have, you could wear it with light armor and still wear it, be uh, stealthy. And opponents that get too close take five points of poison damage per second, so they're taking constant damage if they're melee attackers. So it's a pretty good set of armor, and it can be, uh, if you have high smithing, it can be improved. So you just, and, and it looks pretty sweet too. Um, oh, did we not kill everyone? And so that, you see when I go into stealth, that's the effect of it being all stealthy mode. Pretty awesome little animation. Like I sink in with the shadows. But it said I didn't kill everyone. So I'm kind of confused. Maybe it was someone outside because... Well, here, let's just quick save in case I alert someone. Let's run back here. Oh, I did not know about this little... What's this do? And maybe I have to be outside the mine. Oh. This does nothing. It just brings me right back here. Okay, so yeah. I must not have killed everyone outside. Let's go out and check. Okay. Oh, yep. I'm seeing now my quest tracker now. Two marks. Quick save. Okay. Hey, Sleepy. You have done well, my champion. You have earned my respect. A feat few manage and live to tell about. I shall write your name upon the tablet of absolute darkness. You may keep my ebony mail, a token of my appreciation to my new champion. Its gifts will resonate with your talents. Now go. I have strings to pull that require my full attention. You may pursue your own course wherever it leads you. Remember always this. As you will it, so it shall be. Okay, Boethia. 
quick go back to my other... Wait. Oh, those are the boots I picked up. Go to my ebony suit of awesomeness. And so yeah, as you can see, my character's doing quite well. Can... Most of my armor uh, is set towards conjure... The enchantments are set towards conjuration and magicka regen. I had a really big issue with magicka regen in the f beginning of this character because, like, I'd spawn uh, Atronach or raise a zombie and suddenly I wouldn't have enough magicka to heal or fight left. I highly um, encourage enchanting uh, for those people starting new characters. Maybe I'll do a little video on just how I got my enchanting up quick. Um, but with enchanting, you can... Well, I'll just port back to Whiterun and show you. With some mods I've downloaded, I've pretty much made the Skyforge my go-to for everything. Um, as you can see, it has the... Well, the Skyforge itself, and then a, web, a grindstone, a workbench, and then over here, Arcane Enchanter, Alchemy Lab, Tanning Rack smelter and also personal chest to store whatever in right now i'm storing dragon bones in there for when i get to dragon smithing but basically i mean you when once you have uh high enchanting i mean i'm just scrolling through those lists of enchantments here while it doesn't give you well, it doesn't make you op like say i want to start using two-handed weapons to uh raise my level that way. I could gra make a new set of armor and fortify it all with two-handed attacks. So two-handed damage do ha two-handed attacks do more damage. So like let's just take these gauntlets here, go to two-handed and oh heck, let's go restoration. Set since I'm 100 and I have these grand soul gems uh, two-handed attacks do 40% more damage. Restoration spells cost 25% less to cast. Boom. I'm better at healing, and I'm also better... I've been looking for you. Oh. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Uh, inheritance. Jarl Vignar Greymane, it is with great regret that we inform you of Uthgard the Unbroken's death. I kind of knew about that. To cease the measure to uh, bequeath you a measure of inheritance, 300 gold. Wow, well, she's cheap. Uh, 30 gold pieces from the sum is lawfully taxed. Oh, those bastards. The remainder has been commended in the tr trusted courier for deliverance. Grieves with you this day. Rejoice that set dear friends, wealth can communicate. Uh, th oh, whatever. Well, I did not know if you killed her or if she died, I guess. She would give you that. So yeah, I can't end my video like I did my first Conjurer video by committing suicide off a cliff. Seeing that only did a little bit of damage. But, uh, so yeah, that was Boethia's Calling got a pretty epic set of mail out of it. Um, so I will go and put it in my chest here. And I'll store the, all of my Daedric items I get there. And once I'm done, hopefully I'll have a very nice set of Daedric items to show off. And So yeah, I'll uh, I might do uh, well that one's a little bit hmm where is that guard running to? He's not coming after me, is he? Let's just quick save just to make sure, see what's going on here. You have committed crimes against Skyrim. What, what did I do? What say you in your defense? Oh. I bet I I bet it was because I killed her. Uh here. This is an interesting way to end the video. No, no, stop spawning them. I want my bow. There we go. Ah, stop hitting me. Oh, I hit the Oh, he's dead. Come on, Dramora. Let's take out White Run. So goes the Jarl. 
by the way, I have been doing the Civil War quest, the si and uh, the Stormcloaks have taken over the city. Die, Talos Worshipper. Oh, who's shooting arrows at me? Oh, you're up there. Nope. I hope they are. Oh, you're still alive. Not anymore. Well, you are, but you just can't die. Why is a Stormcloak soldier so tough? Probably because she's a guard. Um, where are... I'm amazed at my Dromor Lord lasted that long. Mercy. Mercy with that. Hey, you. You can't be alive again. Ow! Oh, I want some help. Can't wait to get uh, up to 100 conjuration, then I can summon two Dramora Lords. Oh, really? That arrow sticking out of your knee is nothing? Kill him. Kill him. Or I will. Do you? Hey, you guys, you shouldn't be standing around here. Oh, I can't shoot the kid. That's just weird to me. I mean, you can murder the entire town if you want, but it, you won't kill the kid. You can't kill the kids. I hate cows. I've been looking for you. What? Looks like that's it. Go. You know what, courier? Die. Oh, I really? They're an essential? Oh look, you two are still alive. You've been beat up on a lot. Um, pro maybe next video I'll up the damage, because as you can tell, not really doing, taking too much here. Okay, I'll do something. Stand still. Who are you that you're essential? Doesn't even say your name. Okay, is everyone outside dead? Oh, you're not. Oh, you're that stinking courier. And you are now dead. What have you done? Uh, I killed someone. Like it? Okay, so yeah, uh, Dramar Lord just took care of those two guys. Any guards up here? Ah, I've run out of stamina so fast, but thanks to my healing spells, I can refill it very quickly. Oh, always nice. Okay, it appears everyone else is dead, so we'll quick load now. Put all that behind us. Oh wait, I still gotta go talk to that guard. Uh, or, no, no, no. Quick load. I will play Ring Around the Rosies with him. Follow me, guard. Okay, so yeah, that was Boethia's Calling, and also murdering, murdering the good citizens of Whiterun. Where's the guard? Oh, there he is. Let's go this way, guard. That didn't really hurt me at all. Okay, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'll figure out which Daedric quest I want to do next, and I will see you all later.